What's up guys, it's Tommy here and I'm absolutely fuming after Man United knock Liverpool out of the FA Cup and we are so much better than Manchester United, we are miles better than them and yet we absolutely gifted this game to Man United. We Bottled it. I'm sorry for using this song word, but our game management was absolutely disgraceful. First of all, I think the problem started when Jurgen Klopp fielded a very strong team against Sparta Prague, we, who be, we beat 5-1 away from home. Why did Soboslay and Salah play the full game on Thursday when they were needed today and Salah got substituted for Gakpo and I think that single substitution cost us the game big time because Gakpo has made us worse. He made us a lot worse. And also Darwin Nunez, Harvey Elliott, they are heroes and then they are zeros because they both gifted Man United possession in extra time and that gifted Man United the victory because Man United weren't even in the game. For 87 minutes Liverpool dominated. Yes, the first 15 minutes Man United started the better and uh, Liverpool Defensively, we were all over the place in the first 15 minutes and McTominay scored a pretty good goal for Man United. After that, you know, Liverpool started to grow into the game and we scored through Vataruendo, but it was an offside in the build-up and then Mo Salah, sorry, McAllister scores into the near post after his deflected shot goes in. It was brilliant build-up play. And then Mo Salah scores the second goal. Salah has now scored, I think, 10 goals or 11 goals at Old Trafford which is an absolutely crazy statistic um, he's uh, the player the Liverpool player who scored the most goals at Old Trafford in Liverpool's history and Liverpool were 2-1 up at half time after a half where Liverpool weren't really at the races Man United had like seven shots on target guess what the second half Liverpool were miles and away the best team Man United had one shot on target in the second half and that came in the 87th minute through Anthony after Liverpool were pissing about. We were dilly-dallying on the ball, passing it around with all none of the care of the, in the world. We didn't respect Man United at Old Trafford and you cannot do that. You cannot think the game is over when you are only one goal up. You cannot think the game is over when you are 2-1 up at Old Trafford. You don't kill the game off. You don't kill Man United. They can always come back because they have dangerous forward players and I said it before the game. The, the game will be decided by Liverpool taking their chances or not. And it's ridiculous to say that we scored three goals at Old Trafford and I'm complaining about uh, us taking our chances but it's true because Liverpool in the whole game had 25 shots, 11 shots on target, 8 shots off target, 6 blood shots. We even hit the uh, post once through Harvey Elliott in the 90th minute and yet Liverpool go out of the FA Cup because we gifted Man United like three goals. The McTominay goal, the first Man United goal, it was awful defending Joe Gomez and Kwanzaa are dragged to the ball of, with Rashford, uh, Garnacho slips in behind, he shoots, Kelleher saves it but McCotomine scores the rebound and the Rashford goal in the Anthony goal, you know what, I'm, I don't have too many complaints about that, it's a good finish but Liverpool should have been 4-1 up when Anthony scored the second Man United goal Cody Gakpo came on, he slowed down every attack of us. Uh, Harvey Elliott also missed some really big chances, even though Harvey Elliott scored the third Liverpool goal in extra time. So Liverpool, Liverpool went 2-1 up and Liverpool went 3-2 up and we gave away both our leads to Man United through defensive mistakes and also for attacking mistakes. Liverpool made a lot of mistakes in this game and that ultimately cost us a place in the semi-finals and I'm absolutely gutted about that because Man United are Liverpool's biggest rivals and they are probably this is the worst Man United side in years. So you have to beat them even at Old Trafford, I'm sorry, with the quality that Liverpool have and I would wonder would Salah be taken off if he didn't play the full 90 minutes three days ago. Why did he play the full 90 minutes three days ago? Jurgen Klopp, bad team management. Also by the Liverpool players, apart from Endo, McAllister, Kelleher, Van Dijk, the rest of the players have bad game management. Darwin Nunez missed so many chances. Darwin Nunez 
was so lazy on the ball before the third Man United goal in extra time. He was looking around, there was finally Liverpool with the ball, uh, with the possession. And instead Darwin Nunez, instead of uh, just passing it backwards, keeping possession, he tries the Hollywood pass, he tries to ping it towards the other side of the, of the, of the pitch. But his pass gets intercepted and it's very close to our goal. McTominay gets it. One pass, Rashford scores from inside the box. Literally five seconds after Darwin Nunez had the ball at his feet and he could decide what to do with it, he tries a Hollywood pass and it was an awful decision. I love Darwin Nunez to bits, but he has to learn from this. He has to learn that you have to be switched on at all times. And if Darwin Nunez was tired, why didn't we take him off? Well, I will tell you why. Because, you know, Liverpool have so many injured players. We don't have Diogo Jota on the bench. If Jota comes on in this game, except uh, instead of Gakpo, we win this game 4-1. I will guarantee you. Because Jota is a killer. Jota has that killer instinct that Gakpo doesn't have. That Darwin Nunez sometimes doesn't have yet and that Mo Salah has and uh, it's a shame that Jota is injured and this cost Liverpool a big trophy this season. I want Liverpool to win every trophy. Winning the Europa League is going to be a lot tougher than win the, winning the FA Cup. Maybe not but yeah you get my point. We are already in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Winning the Premier League will be definitely a lot tougher than winning the FA Cup. But Harvey Elliott scores a brilliant goal after a Colin Bradley assist and that was the first moment of quality from Liverpool in extra time. Of course the players are tired, I understand that and that's why we made so many mistakes. But you have to question Jurgen Klopp at this stage, why are the players so tired? Because they, uh, some of them played a lot of minutes in the Sparta Prague game. Why didn't more of our youth academy players play against Sparta Prague? We were 5-1 up on aggregate. Even if you lose the second leg by one or two goals, no harm done, we are through to the quarterfinals. That's what matters ultimately and that the players are fresh and ready for Man United. But even that is not a problem. If Darwin Nunez keeps the ball, I think that is the game-changing moment, plus the fact that Liverpool were, had five attackers bombing onto two Man United defenders in like the 75th or 80th minute before Man United equalized. And Liverpool have to score from that chance. We absolutely have to score. And Gakpo uh, passes it to Harvey Elliott, who dilly dallies on the ball. His pass is intercepted and the chance is gone. And we had so many great chances in the second half. Darwin has created some good chances. Onana made a lot of good saves. You have to question, question Liverpool's mentality in normal time. In extra time we worked hard, Man United worked hard. It was a very even game in extra time. But in the normal 90 minutes, I mean in the second half, Liverpool had 13 shots. Four shots on target, four shots off target. Once we hit the footwork, Harvey Elliott with a curling effort hits the woodwork in the 90th minute even after Man United equalized. We could have won the game. Harvey Elliott uh, should have scored more than one goal or at least if he scores that chance in the 90th minute we go through 3-2 after normal time. And Liverpool had more than enough good chances, great chances in fact, to kill the game off, to finish the game. If we scored a 3-1 in the second half, then Man United couldn't do anything. Man United had basically no midfield. Their front five were attacking Liverpool and then there was a 40 yard gap and then there was their defense. So they were there for the taking. No wonder we beat them 7-0 last season. They are absolute clowns when it comes to defending. I mean, Man United allowed Liverpool 25 shots at Old Trafford, at their home stadium. Of course, in extra time, as I said, it was more of an even game. Still, if Liverpool are maybe a little bit better, and I'm seeing in the second half of extra time we didn't have a shot. Wow, Liverpool, come on, man, you cannot let that happen. And even after, like, 120 minutes, it's free all. You take the draw, you go to penalties. You don't throw absolutely everyone forward for a corner. Yes, you want to win the game, but you keep at least three or four defenders on the halfway line. It was one defender, Connor Bradley, on the halfway line. Everybody else was forward on the corner, on Liverpool's corner. And Harvey Elliott takes the ball of Endo's feet and he hesitates. He doesn't know whether he should shoot or pass or dribble. And before we know it, 
Man United have the ball because Harvey Elliott gets the ball pinched off his foot. Yes, he's 20 years old. Yes, he's a young player. He's still growing and maturing. So I can understand this mistake. Uh, I can't understand Darwin Nunez's mistake uh, more because, uh, or less, I, should I say, I can't understand it um, because uh, Darwin Nunez has a lot more experience than Harvey Elliott and he should be more careful with possession before gifting Man United the ball before the third goal. It's a great finish by Rashford and it's a, it's a good finish by Ahmad Diallo and Garnacho and Diallo are running at Conor Bradley and Conor Bradley has no chance defending that situation really and then Diallo puts it far corner in off the post and Kelleher can't save it and then Ahmad Diallo does a messy celebration taking off his shirt showing it to the Man United fans he gets a second yellow card and a red card so Diallo will miss the semi-final of the FA Cup but he doesn't care probably about that he's just happy to score this iconic goal against Liverpool in the 121st minute and I'm so angry because this hurts even more that it's Man United it's our biggest rivals even against anybody else I would be mad at how Liverpool basically gifted Man United the win, how we threw the game away. We gifted Man United possession twice before they scored the third and the fourth goal. Liverpool would have won this game 3-2 if we kept the ball much better. And I think the substitutions uh, slowed Liverpool down. But Soboslay played the full 90 minutes against Sparta Prague. Mo Salah played the full 90 minutes against Sparta Prague. So they were both substituted after 72 and 77 minutes. Why? Because they played the 90 minutes. Why? That's my question. Why did Soboslay and Salah play the full 90 minutes against Sparta Prague? We should have rested a lot more players against Sparta Prague. Hindsight is 2020, but I think Jurgen Klopp will be absolutely furious with this defeat because Man United were there for the taking. As I said, after they scored, until the 87th minute, especially in the second half, Man United were just defending for their lives. And they had no answer to Liverpool's wave after wave after wave of attacks. But again, we miss so many big chances. So one big trophy is gone. Cordy Gakpo, the jury is out on him still. He had another very, very bad substitute performance. He basically broke down a lot of our own attacks. It wasn't Man United's great defending. It was Cody Gakpo. The way he's slow on the ball, he's hesitant in his decision making. Sometimes he shoots when he should pass. Sometimes he passes when he should shoot. And overall, he's just in a bad form bad spell. He's not a bad player, so some Liverpool fans saying we should sell Cody Gakpo. He's not a bad player. He still has a lot of goals and assists this season, but he's in really bad form. But Jurgen Klopp didn't really have a lot of other options on the bench. Uh, you, you bring on Cody Gakpo or you bring on, uh, you know, Gravenbeck, who just came back from injury, or Dance, who is uh, 18 years old, or McConnell who is uh, also uh, 18, 19 years old, sorry. And maybe Jurgen Klopp thought they aren't ready for this Old Trafford cauldron of a, uh, of a stadium. I thought McAllister, Endo, Soboslay, they were all great. Bruno Fernandes should have been sent off because he almost broke the shin of Dominic Soboslay. He already had a yellow card. He goes in and absolutely smashes into Soboslay, who shoots and he kicks uh, Bruno Fernandez's leg. And it's a really bad tackle by Fernandez. And he stays on the pitch. He doesn't get the second yellow card. I mean, Liverpool probably win the game if we are playing against 10 men. Uh, Luis Diaz, I thought, again, was fantastic. And Darwin has otherwise had a good game. But I wish that uh, Liverpool wouldn't have played Soboslay and Salah for the full 90 minutes against Sparta Prague because then we, we, they could have played uh, more minutes in this game. And that way, we probably would have knocked Man United out. Salah absolutely loves playing against Man United. So if Salah plays the full 120 minutes instead of Gakpo, he, he wins us this game. That's my analysis. It's such a shame. It's so painful, so hard to take. But we still have the Premier League and the Europa League to play for. But this game was a huge missed opportunity. Liverpool could have been in the semi-finals of the FA Cup against Chelsea, Coventry and Manchester City. And instead it's Man United. This was Man United's biggest game of the season because they have nothing else to play for and we gifted them the victory. We could have killed Man United's season off with a win today. Such a shame. Anyway, I'm off to upload this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this still. Have a nice day. See you later. Goodbye.